What's up guys, Guillaume here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Side Major 2021 for some mountain gameplay. Now I have to say, I recorded this video over on TDF 2021 or 2012 and I recorded it on PCM 2020 because I appear to be unsmart, towards dumb and I realized it literally at the end when I was like, shit. That's my outro screen. <laughs> that in PCM 2021. <laughs> the game isn't, doesn't have them kind of images. So yeah, I choked. As one does. But we're back, all right? PCM 2021, mountain gameplay. Here we go. Just like the TDF game, Muret, sans la soudan, we're going to do the Col de Porte. Uh, it should be a fun stage, all right? It should be a fun stage. I took, uh, so for some of you who didn't see it, I'm not going to spoil the results, but I did take UAE Team Emirates with Tale Pogachar previously. Uh, it does have 82 mountains. There's only one other rider with 82 mountains. That is Primus Roglic. Actually, Banan may have 82. I might be a wrong one. He does. He does. Should I take Ineos Grenadiers? No. Let's try to have a little challenge. I'm gonna go for... Um... You know what? We'll go Baron Victorious. Damano Caruso and Mikel Landa. Let's go. All right, and the race is underway. It's a plus three for Opals. It's a plus one for Mikel Lander. Shall we finally free this man? I'm gonna try again. I mean, I've been trying to free this man for like two years now. Okay. Might be time for once. Um, but yeah, this is just gonna be like a normal mountain stage. Just to showcase the AI in the mountain aspect of this game. See if there's been any changes with how they behaved. Sorry, compared to the previous iterations of PCM. And if not, uh, just have another reason as to why this, this game is slightly meh uh, and and or not ready. Interesting. To, wait, hold on. They've got the national jersey of Portugal for Rui Costa, but they don't have it for Alpes and Phoenix. Or am I uh, am I wrong? Am I blind? Where's Alpes and Phoenix? Oh, they didn't take. No, they did take my turn. Does he have his uh, time in jersey? He doesn't. He doesn't. Does Bala have it? He does. All right, so some teams have it, some teams don't. We have a breakaway of seven. Starting the Col du Perro Sword, the Peloton is going to do the exact same thing. Now I'm just making sure that they don't go 99 like absolute wrong guns. They have not. All right, let's take a look at the breakaway then. As I said, seven main group. We have Bruno Amirai, Tim Sorsky's favorite riders, uh, Christopher Nilans, Amanuel Gebrek Zabea, Rob Power, Matteo Fabro, Romain Sicard, and Oli Nazen. All right. Trying to trying himself to uh, to the mountain aspect of cycling, love that from him. Um, Peloton has indeed started to increase their rhythm. Pentana behind Landa, Jackie behind uh, Caruso. Right, uh, so I'm going for Mikel Landa. Co leader today will be Waterfalls. Okay, um, UAE is going to kill themselves. Uh, so that's that's quite fun. I guess today Pugacha is having a good day, but just like last year, the uh, AI does go to like their limit and then they don't really have anything to carry over um so we'll see what happens maybe in the uh, final 2k we'll see uh mcnaughty getting a, a surge of energy um or maybe trying someone trying to attack but for now i can just recover my energy in this peloton and and have fun also pay bilbao has 77 downhill how why that's that's rude Second climb of the day, the Col de Valouron d'Azay. Sorry, Valouron d'Azay, my bad. Uh, for now, not much really happening. We're going to stop Dylanton's protecting Mikel Landa. Jack Egg will protect uh, Wouty Pulse. All right, who's pacing in the peloton then? Who's, who's the dickhead? Rudy Mola, full song. Jacob, full song has attacked. Okay. So, me being at the back of this group might not have been the wisest of decisions. We've got the summit of the climb. Uh, we have a four-man break at the front. Let's take a quick look at those four riders. Tadej Pogacar, Richard Carapaz, Jacob Fulsang, and Thibaut Pinot. Still some good stats for Thibaut Pinot. And the French Marius, what do you mean? All right, let's recover energy with um, Michaelito Landa. Red Pulse is also here. Absolute masterclass by the former rider from the Team Sky and from the Team Vacances Soleil. And um, yeah, we're still going to start the uh, Col de Porte. Oh, crash, 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 the Valentine, Tadej Pogacar. Tadej Pogacar, Dan Martin, Fulsang and David Godu did all crash. Nice. Love that. Th this is why I love this game. Solely for that matter. Solely because there's crashes absolutely everywhere. Uh, they are now 116 behind. 
We're gonna lead the peloton with uh, Mr. Gilan Tunes, actually with Mikel Landa, let's be honest, because we're, we're, we're smarter than that. There we go. We're pulled behind Mikel Landa. Damiano, give me water whenever you want. Right, I decided to put um, Vingegaard and Samoan to work just to try and catch Caruso because he was basically going to die and out of energy. So I figured I might as well just send him off with a, with a bang. But he is finished, meaning that it's going to be up to Mikel Landa, Dylan Tuns and Webpool's attack. Carapaz, Joao Almeida, Roman Barley, Miguel Angel Lopez. Okay. I mean, I'm waiting for them not to react. There we go. Here's Stephen Krovek. Um, I don't know if we got a chance back. I don't think he... Actually, no, he probably is because I'm seeing a cup full song. Uh, so if I'm seeing full song, here is Taipo Gajan. More attacks. This time, I'm going to have to follow because there is no teammate uh, able or willing to um, go for uh, for any kind of, uh, of help here. Webpulse is going to actually protect Mikel Lander now because uh, it appears that Dylan Tunes has finished his job at the front of the peloton or at the front of Mikel Lander's wheel, I guess. Okay. Let's recover energy here, shall we? Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's just calm things down. 17 riders in the first group of attacks, once again, by Gan Bernal, who has, uh, I believe, his handlebar is uh, coming back into place. Interesting. Nope, it's still kind of fucked up. All right, sometimes it, 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 it goes and comes back. Puncture for Domenico Russo, that's an L. Primus Roglic is done. Primus Roglic is already finished. Or at least. Doesn't seem to be in the greatest of conditions. Mikelanda is also going to be on his own as uh, it is the end for work. Yeah, Roglic gone. Roglic and Tadej Pogacar are finito. That's not how I expected this race to go. Okay. Uh, let's slap some, uh, some solid 50 effort. Recover the energy. And uh, we shall go again in about a couple of kilometers. Don't know when, but we will. I mean, Red Bulls came back, uh, clearly meaning that the rhythm in this group isn't high at all. Carapaz, Lopez uh, are struggling. So is Vlasov, if we're being uh, honest. We're going to accelerate with, uh, with Mikel Landa. I'll use my gel. And we're going to go a solid 80 or a solid 78 in this Col de Porte. See if we can drop. We're going to drop Roglic. We're going to drop Red Bulls. I'm expecting the likes of Lopez to, uh, to dip quite soon or to bonk in the words of uh, Mr. Sorsky. Right, 2k to go. The gel has been used. Not sure it's going to make any kind of difference. I don't know if that's been changed from last year uh, or from like the last 10 years, if we're being honest. 1.3k to go. We're dropping Nero. Nero man is... Oh, actually, he came back in my wheel. Oh, Nero man. I've been absolutely duped here. Wow. Nero man, like, did a, did a tactical masterclass. Can I still come back at him, though? We still have that, that smidget of energy. Come on, come on, come on. Mikelanda's gonna go 99. Get in there, lad. Come on. You lot, don't chase me down. Come on. Mikelanda has been freed. Get in there. It's a win for Landa ahead of Egan Bernal and Nairo Quintana. Stupendous. Absolutely stupendous. I might be the greatest player on PCM 2021 yet. Um, there might be more yellow on those podiums on the Tour de France, not so sure. Um, we've got... There, there's no way there was 10 seconds. I'm guessing there might have been some time... Uh, there can't be time gaps either. Because that, that, that wouldn't make sense. Alright, so I guess the time gaps were 10 seconds and 12 seconds respectively on Bernal. And Eric Quintana. Inos Grenadiers winning the team classification as per usual. Oh, no, so there were bonification seconds. I'm actually a wrong one. I can't do maths. Um, also, new feature. Very simple feature, but they've added, like, the S-T-N-D-R-D-T-H uh, after numbers. That, that, that's just the new thing. I think the font changed as well. Bit more clear to see. I do have to admit, much clearer to see than last year's. So that is a very good add on their end. Uh, but, yeah, this was a fun stage to play. Uh, I gotta say, quite easy. I did look in difficulty at the end because I didn't expect uh, Nero Man and Negan to, to attack here, uh, especially because I expected Nero to, to like bunk before. But quite easy to win, right? I I could have like waited even more to before my uh, my increased rhythm, and I would have won easy um in a m much more um easy way. But yeah, this is fun. Like generally, I'm having fun with this game for now. When the game isn't broken, 
it's genuinely fun. But nevertheless, I hope you've enjoyed said video. If you did, please do leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content in the upcoming days, there you have literally like slapped my arm in the webcam. Uh, but you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That would mean a lot to me. Um, if you want to say anything in the comments, feel free to, and I'll try to answer to everyone. But I will see you very soon for some more cycling game related content. Have an amazing day. My name is Gyo. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on girl and don't you ever let Pass it me the go. funk, we're getting drunk in here and what comes next will